Hey, how's it going everyone? This is White Pointer and you may know me as a content creator but what you may not know is I've actually been professional in the video gaming home entertainment industry now for almost two decades. These are some of the games I've worked on during this time that were actually finished and released but I've also worked on a few that were cancelled and never saw the light of day. And the one that stunned the most for me was undoubtedly Stargate SG-1 The Alliance. Uh, I was on this project for about 18 months, uh, though some of the other guys there were on it for over two years. If you're a fan of Stargate SG-1, you've probably heard of this game. This was planned to be released for the PC, original Xbox and PlayStation 2. Uh, the project was officially terminated in January 2006 and realistically I'd say we had about another 6 to 12 months of work on it. We'd hit internal alpha, but a lot of stuff was still placeholder or work in progress. So keep in mind when you watch this footage that not only is this from the mid-2000s, but it was also incomplete. I think Stargate SG-1 fans would have really liked this game, as we had the actors from the show providing all the voices, including Richard Dean Anderson, Michael Shanks, Amanda Tapping, Christopher Judge, Donis Davis, and even Gary Jones, uh, otherwise known as the Chevron guy. A lot of the various alien races from the show appeared as well, such as the Gold, the Tok'ra, the Asgard, and the Ritu, and being a Stargate game, we had a lot of freedom in the kind of environments the game took place in, which included lush jungles, snowy mountains, deserts, Gold bases, and some truly alien looking worlds. Looking back at this now, this looks really impressive for 2006, and it's not even finished. It's a real shame we never got the chance to complete this project. Some missions took place in locations from the show too, such as the Tokra Caves, planets like Langara, and we even had some missions inside the Cheyenne Mountain Base. The gameplay was a squad based first person shooter where you were able to issue commands to other members of the SG-1 team, either all at once or individually, telling them to take out an enemy, take cover, and so on. Each character had their own unique ability as well. Uh, for example, Carter had a ribbon device to knock enemies down and could hack computers, whereas Daniel Jackson had a weapon called the Hand of Light and could read ancient hieroglyphics. You controlled a different member of the SG-1 team in each mission. Anyway, enough of my rambling. You clicked on this video to see some real gameplay, so it's time to show some. I'll be doing a playthrough of one of the missions in the game from start to finish as the SG-1 team explore an ancient Egyptian-like planet as they search for missing members of the SG-2 team. And yes, I did check with my former boss to make sure it's okay to show this and he said go for it. So let's go for it. SG-2 must have left beacons to help them get back to the gate. We can follow them if the storm gets too bad. Are you getting anything from Calder or anyone else from SG-2? No, sir. I'd say the storm is blocking our signal. We should move quickly. The storm is fast approaching. It is likely that the city may provide some shelter. All right, let's move out. Carter, keep trying SG-2. So as you can see, in this mission we play as Daniel Jackson. Right off the bat here, I really love the sandstorm effects we have in this mission when you're outside the city. So as a heads up, we didn't get the chance to properly balance the ammo loadout or drops in these levels. So in order to get through this, I'll be picking up a gold old staff weapon when I get the chance because it has unlimited ammo. 
I'll be still using the other weapons from time to time, but if you notice I'm using the staff weapon a lot, that's why. Doesn't look like anybody's lived here for a while. I'd say you're right about that. Uh, obviously you're meant to be taking advantage of the fact that you have three squad mates too, so I'll be ordering them to do a lot of the dirty work for me as well. Guy, heads up, you got company. The SG-1 team had these rechargeable shields in the game that allowed them to sustain a few hits, but once the shield was gone, you died pretty quickly. So you needed to be careful and take cover to allow your shield to regenerate during firefights. There's also a personal cloaking device to stealth your way around enemies, but I probably won't be using that as it drains your shield. Target the Jaffa! Yes, sir. Ready! Jackson, could this be something of interest? Mm, let's see. We're running to shelter him. What does it say? Uh, the painting depicts a group of people that were running from a storm that came across an abandoned city. The symbol below it means people. In this first part of the mission, we need to explore this ancient abandoned city. Uh, we need to decipher these various structures in order to open the gates to block our progress. You'll notice that the game periodically says it's saving a checkpoint, <laughs> but we didn't actually have the checkpoints working properly at this stage of development.
Ah, there was meant to be some dialogue trigger there. Uh, we're looking for the storm symbol. As you can see, the puzzles in this game weren't exactly complex, but at least they gave you a bit of variety. Uh, I'm not really sure whether this would have been the final version of this particular one. Carter, see if you can raise SG-2. On it. SG-2. SG-2, do you copy? Does anyone from SG-2 read me? Over. Nothing. Get a bit closer to where the ring teleport is here so you can see it in action. Take him out!
This thing looks pretty solid. Carter, did you bring C4? Yes, sir. Should we blow it? What? Jack, you can't do that. The city has a number of paintings around the place indicating a story of some kind. So... what? So? Looking at the writings on the gate, it reads, Only he who knows the tale will open the door to what is beyond. Besides, we don't know how many Jaffa could come running if they hear this thing blow. Perhaps we should search the area to gain an inkling of this tale. But if I blow it up, I won't have to know the tale, and I'll still get to see what's beyond. Fine, we won't blow it. Perhaps open sesame? I'm still amazed, honestly, at how good the game looks, considering it still needed to have a number of art passes done on it. Looks like it could be the main building. You should check it out. Just fine. Wow, what's in there? So you may have noticed, when a squad member goes down, you need to go and revive them. Uh, we played around with a few different animations on how to do that, uh, including sticking needles into them, which was pretty funny. Um, I can't remember if we had any plans to actually put in an animation, but there's none in there at the moment. This must be it. This must be where we open the west gate. Great. Do it. Four tells the tale. We probably have to press four of these in the right combination. Fascinating. Do it. I can't. I don't know the tale. Well, we know some of the symbols. We're just gonna have to look for other ones. Just try pressing stuff. I might get lucky. The houses of this place protected the people from the storms. What a shock. The meaning of this symbol is... That was a real brain teaser, that one. So, did it work? Sounds like it. Only one way to find out, though. We should go and check. Carter, see if you can raise SG-2. On it. SG-2. SG-2, do you copy? Does anyone from SG2 read me? Over? Nothing. 
Well, hopefully they're through that gate we've hopefully just opened. Hopefully. Daniel, head for that gate. Carter, go with him. Tilk and I will be right behind you. Go! more beacons in this area. I'd suggest we follow them closely. With this storm, it would be easy to get lost.
Take him out! Let's get you back on your feet. I needed that. You'll be all right. Thank you, friend. Woohoo, we made it through the city and into the catacombs. I like this cutscene, it's pretty funny. Daniel, this looks right up your alley. Looks like some sort of combination lock. If we wish to proceed, we must solve the mystery. Is this gonna help? No, I'm normally so good about not touching things. Please don't touch anything. Yeah. It would appear that we are trapped. This could be a problem. Why? Why? Because these things tend to go bad. Daniel. Well, ancient burial sites can often be booby-trapped, but the trap normally only triggers when you do something wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't think we have much choice. We need to solve this puzzle because there's really no other way out of here. O'Neill, what is that? Booby. You remember that time we went to watch jelly wrestling? Sir. I've seen Indiana Jones. A hundred years from now, some explorer will come in and get scared by decayed skeletal remains jumping out at him connected to a pointy spike. I just don't want those remains to be me. Your faith in me is touching, Jack. Well, if it helps any, I'm not just looking out for my skin. I don't want those skeletal remains to be Carter or Teal'c either. I do not see what our current predicament has to do with jelly wrestling. This puzzle is a bit more complicated, but still nothing difficult. This says one is before seven. says four is after seven. This one says eight is before one. Scarab will show the way. Nothing! I agree with Colonel Carter. We must solve the puzzle immediately. Uh, the plan there is that Anil's hat falls off as he's running through the gap and he reaches back to grab it just before the wall closes. Yay, more ammo, finally! Woo!
The Hand of Light is a pretty cool weapon, but it does damage pretty slowly and takes time to recharge. The enemy AI still needed a fair amount of refinement, but we at least had them doing stuff like finding cover to hide behind, uh, as you can see here. Target the
Firing! Back off! Get your own ribbon device. Yeah, I'll top up my ammo again. What is the inscription between the statues, Daniel Jackson? Uh, roughly translated, it means the priests shall reveal the path. Aren't these things supposed to be a little more cryptic? for another puzzle, but again, it's not complex. Take him out! Yes, Daniel. Ready! Enemy neutralized. Take him out! Yes, Daniel. Fire I have to take the injury. Well done. I don't think this was open before. Find these four symbols on the statues of the priests scattered around the catacombs.
advised. Move out then. All right, another cutscene. We're at almost at the end. Thank God it's you, Jack. Damn glad to see you. Gray, you're in one piece. Where's the rest of your team? I'm okay. Burnett is here. He's a little banged up, but he'll be okay. I lost Hanson and Penhall. We've been holed up here since our last battle with the Jaffa. Sorry about your team. Any sign of the artifact? We found it, Jack. When we saw that we weren't gonna get out of here on our own, I hid it. I didn't want those snakeheads to find that thing on me. Burnett, just sit tight. We'll go get this artifact and we can all get out of here. Sounds good to me, sir. Come on, it's not far. Stay close. Okay, it's in here. Unfortunately, I didn't have that much time to be picky about where I hid it. Dr. Jackson, I think you might want this. No use, Jack. The Jaffa have him and the artifact. They're taking him away. Damn it! Sir, we need to get back to Burnett and get out of here. All right, let's move! Move! 
Yep, we had super soldiers in the game. General, there's a super soldier in there. Burnett, do you read me? Burnett! Son of a bitch. All right, let's get out of here. Run. Daniel, move it. Let's go. Daniel, let's get out of here. Okay, so basically we just need to escape now. I think we've lost the super soldier. He must be protecting their escape with the artifact. All right, Carter, you got point. Kielk, you follow her up. Daniel, you've got our backs. Let's all stay close. Fire on my target. Fire on my target! I forgot about that. Um, which way do I go to get out of here again? Uh, no, not that way. The other way. Where are those shots coming from? Where? Oh, whatever, I'll just like it. That's it, that's the end of the mission. We should report into General Hammond. Anubis has a piece of the artifact now and he'll want to know. Not to mention the demise of SG-2 and the capture of Major Calder. Yeah. Carter, you still got point. Keep an eye out. We could still have company. I'm glad to get off this damn planet. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions about the game, feel free to drop me some comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Attention! Scheduled off-world activation. SG-3 returning from P3X 696.